Logan fans, thanks for a great time tonight. Now in the NBL, Philo beat Sheridan 31 to nothing last year, but this year's rematch would be huge and could even decide who is crowned NBL champions. Fans get ready. Our game of the week is definitely a heavyweight fight. And I'm now joined live by NBL reporter Sam Mullins. Sam, Sharon is coming off a huge win, so hype had to be the word for this game. Well, Keith, these teams happen to be separated by just one game in the NBL. Coming into this matchup, Sheridan, they beat Maysville last week, and Maysville happens to be Philo's only loss on the season. So according to the transitive property, Sheridan should win this game. But the game was still to be played. Now, Zach Sheridan, he's a player of the year candidate for the Philo Electrics, getting ready for a game that was all about him after forcing a three and out the generals on the generals' first possession. Zach would hook up with Cody Wickham for five yards on the very next play. Zach would keep the ball on the option, cut back to his left for 23 yards and a score. Philo leads early seven to nothing. Sheridan, they're looking for a response. They'll give the ball to running back Chase Heath, who breaks through the Philo defense, breaking a few tackles as he goes, picking up 32 yards for Sheridan's only first half first down. After a second Philo touchdown and the team's trading a few punts, Zach Sheridan, he will roll out to his right, cut back on the scramble, and score his third rushing touchdown of the night. Look at him dive for that pylon. And yes, sir, Zach Sheridan, that is indeed a touchdown. 21-0 Philo at halftime. Coach Paul Culver was not happy with his team's first half performance, and his team would respond early in the second half, and they take down Zach Sheridan in the backfield for a three-yard loss. Now, Sheridan has a chance to crawl back into this game, and that would start with an 18-yard pass from Luke Fox to Trevor Davison for a first down. But Philo's defense would respond as Jacob Newland would sack Luke Fox in the backfield. Later in the drive, Fox would pick up a first down with a 10-yard run, but the drive would end on a fourth down play. Luke Fox would roll out to his right and get hit hard by Hunter Smith, forcing a fumble that would roll out of bounds. And now that Philo has the ball back, Nathan Delugier would get his name called as he picks up five yards on the run. And once the running game has been established, it is time to go to the air. Zach Sheridan throwing a beautiful Dilford dime to Hunter Smith for 61 yards and a touchdown. Philo now leads 28 to nothing, and they would go on to win this one 28 to seven. Chase Heath for Sheridan had 81 yards on just eight carries. He did not see the ball much in the second half, and Nathan Delosier did not have his be best game, picking up 31, rush, 31 yards on 15 rushes. Wow, Philo pulls off the huge, huge win. How were they able to do it? Well, Keith, we've been talking about the Sheridan defense all week, and it was the Philo defense that showed up tonight on the Sheridan's first half possessions. They had seven of them. Five of them ended in three and outs, and they only had one first down in that half. They could not get their offense going until it was too late. Wow, a huge win. Thanks a lot, Sam. 